Hey YouTube and welcome back to the channel today y'all we are dealing with a dilemma it's always like this I don't know what's going on but I can't seem to get it right with a hair schedule yet but we're gonna get it right soon so y'all think it's been about two weeks maybe a week and a half we're going to go a week and a half and say it's been a week and a half since I touched this hair. Now, y'all seen the wash and go video. And if you haven't, y'all go and take a look at that. Because what's up underneath this bonnet is a result from that video. Let's stop procrastinating. Let's stop procrastinating because that's all I'm doing right now is procrastinating because I'm nervous. I don't know what this look like under here. But... I have to do a wash day and I have to do a hairstyle so what I did was I went on Instagram and Facebook and took a poll and asked everybody what they wanted to see me do next and what won out was the silk press was the silk granted it's a hundred degrees down here in the south but I stay in the house all day anyways so me doing a silk press Ain't that serious. I can wrap it, stay in the house. It, it ain't going, you know, it ain't going to revert so much. So that's what we're going to do today. And this probably end up lasting me another two weeks or a week and a half. And always transition like we did with the wash and go style. We can always transition to other styles. So let's see. Ah! Ah! Embarrassing. Girl, shake it out. Oh, it's so dirty. Oh, oh my God. Y'all. What was I thinking? If y'all could see what's going on on this shirt. I, I need to get my ass whooped. And I ain't never cursed on this channel. But I need to get my butt cut. Because why is my hair like this? Let's do a wash day. Because we are doing a silk press today, we want to make sure that we clarify our hair to the T. Get all this product out of it. So we're going to use a nice cleansing shampoo. Oh, this is an 18 and 1. It's good for everything. So we this is definitely going to be put to use. The scalp, clean the hair shaft, clean, clean, clean. And then we're going to go and blow dry. And we're going to use two different serums for strengthening. anti frizz Yeah, so we're going to go in with two of these serums. Because this one doesn't say anything about anti frizz but it does say strengthening. So we do want to strengthen, but I also need some anti frizz going on. So we're going to use this as well. But I also have... My Tresta made heat tamer, but we're going to showcase that silk press and you guys go back and check out that wash and go video to check out my full wash day routine with deep conditioning, uh, protein treatment, yeah, leave in conditioning, all the good jazz. Anyways, on to the video. All right, you guys. So our hair is now freshly washed, moisturized section detangled it feels so much better we're going with our concentrated nozzle and you know blow dry it with the brush at the same time we're going to go on with our dimming brush and kind of give it the last bit of stretch the key to a great great silk press is to be sure that you blow dry your hair properly Pretty much that's what you're going to apply most of your heat at because you want to not have to go over your hair more than two passes. That's the max you want to go with your flat iron. And my flat iron is probably going to be at about 400, 410. And that's it. Even though this heat protector says I can go up to 450, I'm not going that high now. That's, that's OD. Yeah, we're going to start working on blow drying this hair and getting it dry. It's already starting to dry up, which is great. We don't want soaking wet hair when we're trying to blow dry it 
it just makes the process even longer so we're gonna um get into this blow dryer and you guys just listen to some music or something um while i'm doing this process because ain't nothing else to it but to do it I'm gonna put our blow dryer on high with medium heat. What I like to do is do the tension method so the heat is not stuck on one spot. Let it dry and then we go in with the brush and work it through. First section dry. It looks awesome already. So that's what you want. You want to do most of the oppressing pretty much with, with your blow dry. That's going to ensure that you don't have to use too much heat once you're flat ironing. So you want to get a good blow dryer and do that all the way throughout your hair. And if need be, I'll end up um, trimming my hair, but I don't think I need to trim. We're going to finish this and come back. <laughs> I'm going to take this anti-breakage serum. We're going to take about that much per section and put this throughout our hair. Make sure we work it all the way in, especially at our ends. And then I'm going to twist this back up and work on the rest of my sections from here. to use is my Remington I think this is about an inch it just comes with the power button and then this is to of course up or down so we're gonna turn it on and it starts off at 370 but we're gonna turn this up to about 410 okay so it goes from 410 to 430 so we're gonna do 410 and this heats up in no time. I think maybe about 15 seconds, maybe. And this thing is nice and hot. So, yeah, it's already getting hot. So we're going to um, let this heat up. And then we're going to get started with this silk press because I'm tired. I didn't took a break. Look, it's ready. It's ready. Y'all heard the beeps. <laughs> 
I don't know if you did or didn't, but it beat with the quickness. So, fine tooth comb so we can do our chase method, of course. And we are going to get started. We're going to take a decent sized section and try to make sure we part straight across. Obviously, it don't have to be perfect, but we want it to be a decent amount of hair, but not too little, not too much. So you don't have to do too much work. Bring it up. Now, remember, I already put my serums and things on there. I let it cool off. Child went and prepared my dinner for the night. Put on me a pot roast and um, let this hair cool off for a second. Get your roots first. Like I said, it'll probably do two passes. Then I need to turn, turn it around and go down. Nice and slow. One pass. And I like to angle mine out so I can get some volume at the root. Right here. That was only one pass. Moving on. Not too bad. If I need to at the end, I'll still do a little trim, but I won't be doing too much of a trim on my own head because I don't have eyes in the back of my head and my arms don't flip and finagle like that. So pretty much this is self-explanatory. That's the end of this. Make sure you keep tension on your um, flat iron all the way through so you don't get those skip stop spots and make sure you chase it underneath the flat iron like that. You don't want to be on top of the flat iron. You want to chase it first so it can stay nice and connected like this. All your hairs are going in the same direction. Okay. Now to me, I think these ends could use a little trim. To me. You want to make sure you have a nice pair of shears. And we're just literally going to cut off a small portion. Just this spray. You guys see that? It's just this spray section right here. Nice and clean, not too much. That's it, not too much. Now you guys look a lot better. Now when we go back and do our, we might do a little curl, we might not, I don't know. But for now, this is how we're looking. And we just gonna continue this process through our whole head until we're done. 
All right, y'all. Last section of this hair. all right youtube and this is the final look oh my god the silk press came out so good and i did the little clips did some big barrel curls and then clipped it up and let it sit for a little bit while i did my makeup and y'all it looks so good i can't wait till my husband get home because he gonna gag he ain't gonna know how to act when he see me if you like what you see and you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe come on y'all enjoy the love it game until next time